It sucks. It sucks, man. I mean, Damn. bro, they took my whole bag, bro. Let's keep the energy rolling. You got a gold plaque, man. Found out I made the fours. 30 on the 30 this. Alright YouTube, my schedule for today is a, is a little light, nothing really too set in stone. Right now we pulling up on my friend Sophie, she has a project she wanted me to be a part of. Uh, so we're just be moving around today, we're definitely going to bless some people with some cuts, put out some good energy, tomorrow we got a studio, but you know, who knows who we run into. Every time we come out to LA, something pops off, we run into somebody, something happens, so uh, we'll see y'all at breakfast. When I did pray. First stop, most essential stop, probably my first stop every time I come to LA. We're gonna go to Kith right now. I just need some sweatsuits, a couple different hoodies or something. Uh, so yeah. Got Sophie here now too. Yes, sir. Got Aaron, Sophie here, man. Ready for whatever, right? Ready for whatever. Random question, I man. Y'all don't have a chair by chance, like a foldable chair. You can see it in my face, man. I'm calculating where I think the chair is gonna be at. It's like I got a special sense connected to a chair, so I'm positive I'm gonna find it. It's like we're looking for the most common, one of the most common objects in the world. But when you need it, it's like a scavenger hunt. We located a chair. I'm negotiating right now. This is a. Uh, it's our real what's estate. It's our real estate what's today. The purpose of the chair? I make content. I give people free haircuts. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm about to go out and do some blessing people with some cuts, man. So okay. official sale. My guy. All right, you good, bro? Yeah, appreciate Dude, it. Dog. Thanks, bro. That's crazy. Bro, I say it's worth. I say it's worth 50 bucks. Look at the cushion on this Look thing. Look at that cushion. Like, come on, it's come an on. Elevated chair that we were. Yeah, we can flip this. I chair. say it's worth the 50. We can flip. Hey, oh. did you hear him the ghost? He called the owner. They're about to start running up on me. They said how much he offered. Like, damn, come on, fam. I got you with the 50, but you can't start getting me right now. That's a successful chair hunt mission. Now we on the hunt for a person. Let's find somebody that needs that cut. Excuse me, sir. Hey, my name is Vic, man. I was wondering if I could bless your son with a cut, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I want you on TikTok. That's a bet. Let's do it, dog. If you're in LA, you know, let me go ahead and apologize. All right, we just pulled up to the most overhyped place in LA, right? I do not understand why people in LA love In-N-Out so much. First of all, the fries ain't got no season on them. Garbage, right? They like cardboard fries. You can get animal style and they pour the sauce on it, which I thought was trash too, I ain't gonna lie. A burger, I feel like it's hard to make a bad burger, but the fact that you ain't got no options, the fact that the fries is mediocre with no seasoning, I feel like it doesn't touch southern fast food. Now, you know, I'm a little hooked on In-N-Out. You know, before I had a problem, you know, I'll explain as we get it. You know, I didn't really see the hype. You know, I'm be honest, I was blinded. I was probably blinded by, you know, just the hype around in and out but, you know, I'm a believer now. And that's all I want to say, man. So to the city of Los Angeles, I apologize if I ever offended anybody for what I said about in and out Hey, look, I can't say it's the best in the world, but I can say it's a lot better than my first impression. God, I had a pink lemonade. You know, you can never go wrong now, man. <laughs> First of all, the fries ain't got no season on them. Ha! Garbage, right? <laughs> Just how I remember it, man. It's time to skate, man. Pulling up the P-Rod spot. Uh, I just gotta express y'all how nervous I am right now. I feel like a, a kid in the candy shop, man. I'm, I'm meeting a childhood idol right now, man. Somebody that I looked up to my whole life. Growing up, wanting to be a pro skater, skating in favor North Carolina. Living in Germany, watching the barracks online. Just trying to dream of what it would be like to come out to LA to skate with these guys, man. So, we're gonna get in there. I promise y'all, I'm gonna put my heart on the line. And I'm gonna give y'all some good tricks. p Rock got us coming back in the alley, man. Dark alley. How does it 
feel, man. Like, you know, watching skateboarding just continue and just like, you know, it feels great, but it also sometimes, if I'm, if I'm being truthful, I'll get jealous because I'm like, damn, bro, I still, yeah. I still want to be a part of that. Like, going, you know, I feel like I still have plenty to offer, but I'm saying, like, it's something it, it about changes, being young Yo. and being a part of that next generation. You just always want to be a part of that. So you just got to watch and see someone else's turn, but selfishly, I'm like, I always want it to be my turn. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, that's, that's what we want, <laughs> Ready, side. I ain't even let a trick it. It is what it is. Morning YouTube, it's another beautiful, beautiful day in LA. I woke up this morning and found out I made the fours 30 on the 30 list. It don't even feel real looking at it, man, but you know, I thank God for everything. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank my team for supporting me, man. We're just getting started. We're gonna have a beautiful day today. Awesome shoot, so let's do it. I'm tired, but I'm good. Sophie was whooping Paul Rodriguez's ass in basketball last night. All <laughs> night long. Shot after shot. Free throw after free throw. Paul Rodriguez, 10 shoes with Nike. Couldn't stand in front of Sophie. Playing. P. Ryan, you see, I'm, I'm playing, man. This is so fire. Neymar, Neymar, Neymar. Make it happen. This is what I'll try. It's so bright. I just got my eyes closed right now. That's how I feel. Hey, if this was full of water, would you jump it? Yeah. You would jump off this if that was full of water. Like full to the top? Yeah. Yeah, like it's deep. Like you could jump in there. You would jump from this high? Yeah. Man, hell nah. Man, I ain't jumping off no bridge, man. Unless my friends jump off the bridge, I'm gonna jump off with them. <laughs> It's extremely sunny outside, man, but we just wrapped up all of our B-roll outside shots. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna get the goods, and now we're gonna get the best part, we're gonna get the interview done, so it's exciting. I'm excited to see how this even comes out. If you watch this vlog, you're gonna watch this like, what, December when this comes out, but this project might not be out till April next year. Who knows how long it might take. That's sometimes that's how long these projects take. You film stuff, you hold on to it. When you create timeless pieces and you really put your intention behind it, put your heart inside what you do, it lasts forever. I could, I could upload everything that we did today and talked about in the next year. It's still gonna hit. Real shit will always last forever. I came, I came last time. I'm like, yo, Steve, I gotta bother you for a board. Signs the board. He's, I'm like, you know, I can't take it on my carry-on. He's like, yo, Vic, I swear to you, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna I'll do mail it, right it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll mail it tomorrow. I'm like, cool, bet. Steve, thank you, bro. I go, I'm... No. <laughs> no. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? Yo. The guy who ships stuff is here today. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure he does yo, this What's up, brother? man? YouTube is day three now in LA, Wednesday morning. We have an early morning meeting in Manhattan Beach. I am meeting somebody, a new member of the team. I'm gonna start the morning right. But man, your boy's tired. Casey tired, he been driving the whole time nonstop. But you know, this is what we asked for, this is what we prayed for. Let's keep the energy rolling, let's do it. It's a kind of a Well, first of all, meeting this morning, amazing. 
amazing, productive meeting. I feel great about it. We're on Melrose right now. We're pulling up to the Cool Kicks location. About to knock out the Cool Kicks podcast today. I'll see if I got the discipline to not walk out of there with some shoes today. Let's see what happens. Man, it's your boy Vic Lens, man. We about to snatch 50 kicks out the back of Cool Kicks right now. <laughs> hey, that was a good podcast. That was a fun one. Energy just high. Still keeping the same really, really high energy. I feel amazing. Um, going into a pitch now. Let me talk to my team to let you know if I, if I could tell y'all what the pitch is for. I don't know if I could even tell y'all. Let's get it, man. Work after work. Every time I'm in LA, I really don't know exactly where I stay at, but since I gotta do this pitch, I need somewhere with Wi Fi, I need somewhere to chill, I need to sit in front of the computer, I need to lock in. So uh, we came to the WME office. This is my agency here. Love coming here. Put this in your house. Don't. I, no. I don't have. My house isn't big enough. Oh my god, this is an advent calendar. Alright, that's TikTok. Spatula. Spatula? That's not bad. Stickers. Okay. That's number three. Okay, is this underwear? It's not bad. Air it's an air freshener. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's it should say TikToker. Nope. And it should be you for you. TikTok. Can opener. Really? Amazing. No, it's like a multi-use tool. There's like a ah, okay. Does anyone know what this is? A magnet? The magnet. A magnet. Love Ooh, a, a guitar pick. Okay, you do play oh, guitar. Oh, another present for you, Vic. Look, it's it's like Christmas. Oh my gosh, I'm getting blessed right now. Honestly, McDonald's, McDonald's is my favorite brand. Alright, this might be a really lit gift, actually. Are we done with this? McDonald's with the gift cards? We're definitely gonna use these. Weed? <laughs> <laughs> Wildflower seeds. What is this? Don't we need like... Oh my gosh. Snow globe with just random white kids? <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, is that on? Is that you over there? Uh, that... <laughs> they sent us a snow globe. I could take it if you if you really don't want it. No, it's fine. I'll take it. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? There's no camera on that. Thank, Thank you, Rod. It's 8 a.m. in the elevator. I'm in LA, and it's Thursday morning. I'm getting my coffee. I'm trying to get started. You gotta start the day with some food. It is about 12 o'clock. Gotta get that kava, super fresh, super good. And then we have a podcast with Bradley Martin at one o'clock. I'm expecting a really, really good conversation. Oh, baby, you do YouTube shit too? Yeah, I got YouTube. New to it or what? Well, well, I had, well, I built a lot off like shorts and I had like a really good moment where I was doing hella vlogs and it was booming, but consistency, you know? Yes, but I got like 1.7 on, on YouTube right on. Fourth podcast of the week, man. Pull it up on my brothers, Eddie Baker and Xavier Wolf. All right, let's go get to man. All right, man. Minute. Wow. Oh, yeah. But I've always wanted to rap this with you, bro. Let's do it. I've all. What, what's this? Amiga Wolf? I've always wanted to write this shit with you. I don't give a fuck about none of these scenes. So I'm so in luck, so quick. She ain't even know. Hold up. Bitch, quit talking while I roll up. All black whip, cause I mixed every color. You got a gold plaque, man. Oh. You know how many fucking copies you had to sell for that shit? A lot. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully all of it, hopefully all of it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that was sad. They be breaking in everybody's cars down here. It sucks. It sucks, man. I mean, yeah. bro, they took my whole bag, bro. Bro, ain't no way that we just pulled up. Damn, man. They got the bag. And like tonight, after we've been having the most epic of epic days every single day, what a way that we end today with our bags getting stolen, the car getting broken into, and then now we in this freaky ass hotel with this see through ass <laughs> shower. Hey, look, listen, hear me out, because this is the lesson right here is don't let one bad hour 
ruined 23 others. All right, YouTube, we're coming to the end of a very, very, very special trip. Just finished doing a bunch of flag round tricks at the barracks, but Casey got to go back home to Temecula. I got to go back home to Atlanta. We came to LA with no schedule. No thought on what we were going to do. Nobody hit up beforehand. Just came out on faith and said, yo, I'm going to come out here and make the most out of every day to see what we fall into and created a ton of very, very special moments with people that I love. And then I, brought, I got to bring y'all with me the whole time because Casey was here fulfilling his purpose, helping me push my shit out. So because of that, man, we made some fucking amazing stuff for y'all. And I'm really, really glad that y'all got to be along with this and we got to catch this on our camera. And then I, I, I get, I, look, man, I'm casually skating at the barracks right now. Like, I dreamed of this, man. So thank you everybody for the support. Like, comment, subscribe. Told y'all we back with the bangers, man.